Welcome to today's session. I am Sachin Segal and I am here to talk about a very important tool, Google Ads. What is Google Ads? Google Ads is an online platform or an interface or a tool we can say or a software which is developed by Google to help the advertisers to run different kind of ads on different publishing sites or publishing platforms. If I make it more simple for you, suppose you are an advertiser and you sell a digital marketing course. So you know that the bulk of the traffic would come from Google because this is the most used search engine in the world. So when we type this, we see a lot of results here. And when we start a website, it is very difficult to rank organically or free or through the SEO on the very first few pages. With the help of Google Ads, in a very starting days, we can rank on the top like this, this, this or this advertiser. So these are the four top positions which right now has been given to the advertisers who are playing or who are running their ad using Google Ads. On a first page, we see seven of such ads, four on the top I've shown you and three on the bottom. So these are the maximum placements which we see on a Google search page. This is the first kind of ad which can be created under the Google Ads tool, which we would definitely going to learn today how to create such beautiful ad copy. Second ad, which generally we see on different sites, like if I'll open any new site, if I'll open any blog site, if I'll open a site like a speedtest.net, then you would see a beautiful banner or a responsive uh, ad like these, these and these. Okay. How come I'm able to say that these are ads? So if you'll just hover on this, this would say ads by Google ads by Google. So a different advertiser, this is a Paramount, this is from GoDaddy and the publishing site which has been selected by these advertisers is speedtest.net. The third kind of ad which we generally see on Google itself but in a different colors and shape is called shopping ad. So if I just search, suppose I want black formal shoes then the ad copy is changed. It is not like a text ad which we have seen earlier, though there is no text ad in this search, but we have just seen in the case of digital marketing course, but it is an ad you can see from here. Okay. So this is called a shopping ad. Then if I go and if I'll open YouTube and if I'll search a term, maybe I'm in a search of email for beginners course. And if I just play any of the videos, a random one. And before the video plays, certainly we can skip after five to six seconds. And sometimes we see an ad which streams but cannot be skipped. So these are video ads which again created by this beautiful tool Google Ads. One more ad, mobile installation, but I cannot show you as I am from the desktop. Though I would able to show you the screenshot of the same. Now coming to the part, why Google ad is so important. Okay. So I'll be just quick now because we have to be making the account today and also the campaign. Google ad is important in many ways because Google ad helps us to increase the visibility of our products, increase the visibility of our brand. Because you can just imagine you were there on Google, but you were 
somewhere on sixth page or probably you know in the next pagination if i'll just go and uh, not beyond that there are the results but suppose you are you are on the sixth page so we can just assume that nobody goes beyond first or second i don't know if you go or not but i don't go okay and that's how the survey says 97 percent of people doesn't go beyond first to second page so that means we have to be on a first page if we really want to sell our products so increasing that visibility of our brand would take time if we just keep waiting for SEO results to come or to give us the first page or a second page ranking. So for that reason, for a quick results, by making a relevant ad copy and by targeting the right keywords, we can increase our visibility, we can increase the brand awareness, we can increase the traffic. Okay, we can also use a beautiful way of retargeting or a remarketing where people are able to recall our brand or able to make their decisions if at a first time they were not actually taken. Suppose I say they went to my site or any of the sites but in a very first time they have not given me a result. So for me as this website the result is getting the lead form filled. This is a lead form and this is the page where we have reached and where, wherever you know you would see a relevant page connected to the particular ad, that page is called a landing page. Okay, so this landing page has a content. This landing page has an objective to get the form filled and this landing page has a CTA which is called a call to action. Okay, so for me as an advertiser or as a digital marketer or as a campaign manager of this brand DigiPerform, it's very important to get as many as people to this page. Plus, it is the most important part that I get a lot of form filled and a lot of CTA clicks or this call to action clicks. But every time I cannot assume I have to be realistic as well. If even hundred or thousand users have landed to my website from the ad i cannot expect more than three to five percent conversions okay so if i say suppose 100 users have reached my page today since morning so i can only expect three to five percent of leads or three to five users would have filled the data but when we talk about a remarketing then it is about retargeting those guys who have reached here but did not filled up the data or did not convert it or in the same case if i have taken them to the black formal shoe site they reached to the uh, landing page or a product page but did not bought the product so for that reason we can always retarget them using the website data so all these things are very important once we start learning google ads deeply then you would know how these works like you know how the uh, functionality of, of these works like okay so they are talking about the same thing rlsa is retargeting list of search ads we are able to target people who uh, have not converted okay who have not converted okay then it is also used for uh, i think i have talked about branding now they're talking about how the strategies work like so we generally work on the different bid uh, strategies like how you pay to Google. So the most important one when it comes to Google search ad, this is called search ad or text ad is CPC. So CPC is cost per click. Okay, now I'm talking about a very important technical term, the very first technical term probably we have just talked uh, about the broadness of, of the Google ads, how that is, you know, important to increase the branding visibility and traffic. We did talked about the remarketing of it. But now I'm getting into the uh, campaign terms, which is going to be very important if you want to learn today how to create a search campaign or search ad. So the very first thing is bidding strategy. So we pay CPC or it is also called PPC when we are running this sort of an ad, which is called text ad. This means cost per click or pay per click. So when somebody clicks on this, clicks on this, clicks on this as a user as a searcher as a viewer then only a advertiser would pay to google 
This is what PPC means, pay per click marketing. So advertiser is getting an advantage that till the time the ad is only being shown, he is not paying any penny to Google. But the moment a very first user comes and clicks on it, then the amount of certain bid value starts deducting from the advertiser's Google Ads account, which we certainly going to be creating for you guys as well in a while. Okay, so you create a Google Ads account, you put some money into it, you start running the ad of different sort, text ad, banner ad, video ad, shopping ad, and the moment somebody clicks or somebody watches a video or somebody takes any action on your ads, then only you pay most of the times. Okay, that is what the CPC strategy works like. Then also, it is a very important part that we should know how we are measuring the results. So in anywhere in the digital marketing, if you talk from my experience, I know we are only able to get better results or we are only able to get more conversions if we are just not running the ad. We have to be first researching how the ads should be created. We have to be working on the areas which should not be filled, uh, which should not be left unfilled and it should be focused on the audience, it should be focused on certain uh, parameters and after running the ad also, it is very important to keep measuring the performance and optimizing, optimizing and optimizing further or otherwise taking care in the next campaign. Okay, so I think superficially we have talked about a lot of things uh, on a go. Why not just to get into the Google Ads now see how the account is created for free and then let's make a campaign first and we'll come back and we understand we'll try to understand some of the important things like you know there are metrics which we have to be seeing there are formats okay so formats i've already talked about okay so this is the text that i've already shown then there is a banner ad which i've shown you on the uh, you know speed test.net there is another kind of an ad image ad again you know you see on a different platforms like websites and apps then there is a app ad which I could not show you practically because I am logged in from my desktop. So this was the fifth kind of an ad which I was talking about a mobile installation ad. So this probably you see only on most of the time on a mobile because as an advertiser he would want that installation button as a CTA should be directly placed under the ad so that if person searches for something on a mobile then the ad is directly showing them the installation button and the app can be downloaded into their mobile gadgets. Okay, so now then there is a video ad which we already seen and a shopping ad I've already shown you. Okay, then there is a another ad which is just a call only though it is again you know created by the Google ads only we will see. Now coming to create the Google ads. Okay, so first of all Creating the campaign, we need to be having a Google Ads account. That's a very first requirement. So I'll just help you now how you create a Google Ads account for free by using your Gmail ID. Okay, so we go to Google. Let me just search probably here itself. And we type Google Ads. Just ensure that you are logged in with any of your Gmail ID. And then we see Google Ads on the top. Then we just need to click this. And once you reach to this page, you have to click Get Started. After Get Started, probably in my case, you would see a different screen because I have a lot of accounts created, a lot of clients' accounts are there. But in your case, it will show new Google Ads account like this. So I will repeat my steps so that you're not confused. So you go on Google, you type Google Ads, you click Google Ads, the very first result, uh, or either if it is not showing in your country, in your location, then you have to just find ads.google.com and you click get started. Okay, the moment you click get started, you would directly reach to this page, okay? That's why I just repeated my steps because I've been taken to some other page where my 
already created accounts were showing. But in your case, after just clicking get started, it will directly going to take you to this page. Now here you have to ensure that you are not clicking anything. Why? Because this has brought us to the express mode. Express mode is more of the kind like automated or a smart mode, which is created by Google for uh, making the quick ads. You know, it is not going to be showing you all the exhaustive settings or, uh, you know, uh, advanced settings inside. So for that reason, what we do, we go down, we just, you know, I've just, I've just scrolled down. Okay. And then switch to expert mode. Okay. I'll again repeat when we click this, get started, we reach to this page where it takes us to the smart or express mode where we don't have to be doing anything. We scroll down and we click on a switch to export mode. Once we click that, then you would see a few things which you have just seen in the PPT probably that what is your objective? Why you have come here? You have come here to increase your sales, leads, website traffic and XYZ things. But because right now I'm just teaching you or just letting you know how the account is created, then we can ignore these tabs for a moment. Of course, in a while we'll talk about these as well. So we'll just scroll down and we'll create an account without a campaign. As I said, we are going in a sequence. So we are not creating the campaign first. I am considering most of the users would not have the Google ad account as of now. So I am going that way. So you create the account first without a campaign. So when you click this, then you see there are a few basic questions being asked, like from which country your billing would be, which time zone you want to follow or which currency you would be paying in. Okay. Once this is done, just click submit. Okay. Just click submit. Once this is done, congrats, you're all done. Okay. Then you just need to click on explore your account. And this takes you to the dashboard of this beautiful tool, Google ads, from where we can start our journey of making the very first campaign. Okay. So now let's again, come back to the PPT because our account is created. Now, before making the campaign, what all things should be cleared. Let's discuss. Okay. So you can create all these kind of campaigns or with all these goals inside the Google ads, which we have just learned how to be uh, creating the account. Okay. How the account is created. We can create the campaign to increase the sales. We can, uh, we can increase the leads by running the ads. We can increase our website traffic. We can work for the product branding or a consideration. We can also work for brand awareness and app promotion. Okay. These are the subdefined goals or predefined goals before we jump into the campaign making of a search or a display or a video. Okay. I, I hope this all, these all are very much defined or self-defined ones. So I don't have to be, you know, telling you what is sales and what is branding and what is awareness, but still, if you feel so in a, in a while, I will just going to throw some light on it. Okay. Then setting up the ad group. So I'll be just making all this practically with you. So we don't again, you know, have to be understanding all this now coming to some of the metrics, which you would see inside the campaign once that is created. So let's just go back and see one of the ads from any of my clients so that we can learn better. Probably I'll just open in a different tab. Okay, so if I just have to show you, probably I can just use right now the demo account of a simply learn where important metrics we can discuss, which, which has already been given in the PPT. But of course I would just show you how they look like inside the campaigns or inside the Google ads account. So if we move to the dashboard, when we have created and if we have already been running any campaigns and we want to see results or any of the metrics, then what we do, we go into all campaigns. And from here we can see 
all sort of campaigns created in the past okay because i want to see only the results from the search campaigns because there are all kind of campaigns being created here like video campaigns and display and all so what i can do i can click this this blob, uh, uh, navigation menu on the top left and then i can just select the search campaigns when this is selected only these search campaigns would be visible now if i just go on any of the campaigns suppose inside then this breadcrumbs changes earlier i was only in the all campaigns then i just selected search campaigns and now inside the search campaigns i have selected a specific campaign okay so considering suppose this was the campaign i have run in the january for any of my digital marketing sales okay or any of my product sales or any of my services lead generation xyz objectives could have been okay now coming to the main part from the metrics point of view so we see here that there are results been shown of course because this is a demo account so you don't see numbers we can always change the dates like suppose i want to see the uh, result of last 30 days so i would just go here and this would show these many impressions have come impressions like how many times the ad is just been seen okay impression means just how many times the ad been seen okay then it would show how many times the ad actually been clicked okay how many times the ad been clicked assuming 100 times the impressions have come and two clicks have come so the percentage which is basically a ratio of a clicks to impression is called ctr the click through rate which is the next one clicks impression and ctr okay so click through rate is the ratio of impression to clicks your ad been shown 100 of times or 100 times probably but only click today for three times so your ctr is 3% your ad been shown 100 times but been clicked seven times so your ctr is 7% which is a very good number okay anything around 5 to 10 is good okay we don't get to see lot of uh, clicks in our initial days because people do trust the brands which are already established but slowly gradually with the right branding with the right awareness our click rate increases our ctr increases okay then comes your average cpc which certainly you would see here as well so average cpc is a price which you actually end up in paying for every click okay so there is a bid value bid value means when you started to create your account or with a campaign of a search then you decide for certain keywords that how much money you would pay for every click okay that is called a bid price which we certainly see here okay and once you start getting the clicks after running your campaign then the exact pricing been shown as a average cpc price okay then comes the cost cost is basically going to be your multiplication of number of clicks you have got with the average cpc you have paid suppose you have got 100 clicks today and for every click you paid 5 rupees so 100 into 5 going to be 500 or if you uh, understand by the dollars so suppose for every click you have paid 1 usd so for 100 clicks you will pay 100 usd by the end of a day okay that is going to be your day cost or a average cost you have paid for particular ad on a particular day that is also understood by saying daily budget you have spent okay so if i have allotted that i would pay 900 rupees a day and 900 rupees a day in the average of the cpc if i would have probably 10 rupees so i will get 90 clicks okay because 90 clicks into 10 rupees for a click going to exhaust my 900 per day budget if this would have been 100 dollars then 100 clicks multiplied by 1 dollar will going to exhaust my 100 dollars per day okay this is how google calculates like for how much uh, budget you want to run the ad for and on various factors your average cost per click is decided okay this is the uh, understanding of all these terms 
cost per conversion and conversion depends that how your next step actually been designed so by next step i mean suppose if i talk about this particular ad only a person clicks and person reaches here okay so we can define the conversions like suppose 100 people have reached here on the landing page this means 100 clicks would have happened okay so the dashboard would say 1000 impressions 100 clicks 1 rupee 100 rupee okay 1 rupee being the average cpc 100 clicks we have received and we have spent 100 rupees but it doesn't mean that all those 100 clicks which actually took the users to the landing page would have been converted okay so when the conversion code is been placed on the confirmation page which opens after the conversion happens or after the goal completes so that actually tells us how many people got converted or how many people actually uh, fulfilled or completed our objective of goal whatever it was lead generation sales uh, download brochure any of the subscriptions any of the CTAs you talk about okay so uh, talking about the numbers suppose only three people or two people or two users have filled this data okay so the numbers in my dashboard would be like thousand impressions have been shown 100 clicks have come means 100 people have reached to the landing page but only two conversions have happened okay and the cost for all the clicks would be like 100 rupees which is average cpc was one rupee okay so when the conversion is two then we can say that our conversion rate was two percent why because out of 100 clicks i was only able to get two people across the confirmation page or across that cta which was a call to action of buy now shop now or sign up or download whatever it was that is called a conversions and conversion rate two percent cost per conversion can only or also be divided like two conversions i've got in 100 rupees so my cost per conversion would be 50 rupees okay my average cpc is one my clicks been 100 my impressions been 1000 my cta been 10 percent how 100 divided by 1000 ctr 10 percent average cpc one cost becomes 100 rupees my conversions been two that's why my conversion rate is two percent and my cost per conversion comes like 50 why because i've got two conversions on the spent of 100 that brings 50 rupees here i hope this is clear if i have to just demonstrate just wait so that this is basically you know uh, being captured in your heads with more clarity so i'm just going to use a normal example impressions the same numbers which i've just explained so that you know okay so this is cost per conversion suppose your ad received thousand impressions today 100 clicks have come so your ctr becomes 10 percent because that is how this is calculated clicks by impressions your average cpc was one rupee or it has been in dollars so your cost would be 100 rupees or 100 dollars you've got two conversions means two people or two users have uh, bought anything or have subscribed or have just you know completed that call to action and the conversion rate for that reason would be two divided by 100 so two percent and cost per conversion in this case would be 50 rupees because you have paid 100 rupees for two conversions and in this case it would be 50 dollars just a hypothetical number do not be very much worried about the numbers okay with the high placed okay this would change certainly when we do the research of our keywords <clears throat> okay now coming to the part how now these ads been created that's the most important part how we create a beautiful ad copies and all that okay so we go into the campaign making by all campaign and then we click on a campaign we we'll click on a new campaign okay 
Google Ads most of the time works slow nowadays. So you have to be a bit patient with this. And then we click on a create campaign without a Google guidance or we can always click website traffic lead sales. Okay, these all four can be created uh, for the Google Ads search campaign. You know, we can only use these four for the search ad because if I just click this, this will not allow me to create search ad. This only allows video ad. If I click this, this only allows display and video ad. This only allows mobile ad and this is for the local. So if I have to create a search ad like this or a text ad like this, so I have to be either creating through sales, leads or website or either without a guidance. So I'll just going to be teaching you all the settings inside so that you know the Google ads, uh, you know, search ad settings in advanced level. So I'm just taking without a Google. Then you click search ads. Our focus is just to create search ad. You can leave this part right now because your conversions are not being created. We'll do in maybe in the next session when we'll talk about the advanced settings and website visit is my premier goal. And suppose I'm running the ad for any of these sites. Probably I'm running the ad for. You can just see if I can get the simply learn landing page. So digital marketing search marketing. Just a minute, guys. Yeah, digital marketing course. Click on continue. And then the very first thing you see bidding, which we have just learned that we pay on a cost per click basis. So clicks. And you can always set up your bid limit that I do not want to pay more than suppose one rupee a click or two rupee a click or five rupee a click. Okay. And there is another thing which we have to be discussing before we talk about the bid limit. So let me just take you to the keyword planner. So this comes from here tool settings, keyword planner, so that we get an overview that how much actually we should be paying for every keyword we are running the ad for. Suppose my keyword for which I want to run the ad is digital marketing course. That is the premier keyword or the most searched keyword by which the ads of a competitors also are showing and also I want to show my ad for. Okay. So what I would do, I would just go into this beautiful tool. I again repeat my steps. I can just go tool and settings, keyword planner, open in a right tab. Why? So that your existing campaign settings are not disturbed. Okay. You come here, you click this and you click discover new keywords and you search your term like digital marketing course. Click get results. And then you are able to see digital marketing course in the period of last one year in India. Of course, you can change the country to US, Canada, Australia, anywhere. And you would see in the last one year, how many search queries on a monthly basis have come for this particular keyword. In addition, you see a lot of suggestions as well. Suppose we're just sticking around one keyword right now to understand the bid part and all. So we see that we got around 1 million searches in India for this particular keyword with the competition of medium. Competition medium means that most of the advertisers who are selling this digital marketing course been running the ad for the this, this this term or not. If this competition would have been high, then I should have ignored this or would have changed the keyword, but this is medium. So I would take this and this uh, you know talks about the bid value. This is the low term and this is the high term like low price means this is the lowest price any of the advertisers would have paid this year for this particular term to show the ad. And this is the highest bid price which any of the advertisers would have paid in this year for this term. So they doesn't tell which part of year it was, which advertiser it was, but at least we get a fair idea that our bid value would be around 46 to 195. So we go a bit smart. We go on the average price, suppose a bit uh, 46. So I'll just go 30, 40% over this price. So suppose I take 30% around 12 rupees or 13 rupees. So that makes it 15 and around 60 rupees. So this is the bid value I'm aiming 60 rupees. Plus what I do, I take some of the keywords, which I feel like from my naked eye at this moment are very important for my campaign. Just like I take this, I take this, 
I take this. No, you can just take any of them. You can download this data into Excel and copy paste as well. So there are a lot of ways to do this. Okay. And then you can certainly just name the new ad group and they would be added to it. Or otherwise, it is very easy that we just copy them from here. Okay, there are ways to do it. So this is the simplest of the way. Suppose I just liked all these keywords from my product point of view and I like the pricing as well. So what I would do, I would just copy this. Copying this and then putting into maybe here. So when there would be a space, you know, when the campaign would ask me, please tell me for which keyword you want to run the ad. Certainly it would come here when we are done with these two settings. Then I don't have to waste time. I will just go here and copy these keywords and paste in here under the keywords. Okay. I can take more, but before, uh, you know, uh, the time exhausts because I have, a, uh, you know, in my head that I have to complete all the campaign settings and everything within one hour so that you're not bored of this. And I want that energy level to be on a high side. So uh, you can do this research probably, and you can also, you know, add a lot of keywords, you know, dependent on how much, uh, you know, you want to actually leverage from them. And as well, more keywords means you end up in paying your budget, uh, you know, in a very quick basis. So it's important that we segregate them from the monthly searches. High monthly searches keywords are always important because the demand is high. And then we always check the competition should not be higher. Okay, so I probably would not take these, you know, because these are high ones. Okay, I can delete and I can always aim the low ones like medium, 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 and medium. So I can just take this. Yeah. Okay, so copy and probably replacing these. Because I got the better keywords now as compared to the other ones because they had the high competition keywords as well. So I'm just now aiming the medium keywords with the higher searches. And I have just decided that I would give the bid value or a highest bid cap of a 60 rupees because I have just seen the average that if I have to rank for this particular one or probably this one or probably this one, you know, which are on the higher side, then I should be paying 40-50% extra as, uh, you know, uh, compared to the low priced. Okay. So that is how the bid value is calculated roughly. Okay. Anyhow, you would only pay to, uh, you know, outrank your competitor. That's how the algorithm works. Like you will not going to pay high amount. It is like uh, if three advertisers are bidding on a certain term, then if the next one to you is paying two rupee or two dollars. So just to outrank him, you would end up in paying some amount over it, like 2.1 or 2.2. It is not like that you would be paying 40 rupees. So that's how the algorithm calculates. Okay, you, you put anything as an account uh, as a bid value, but it will only going to take uh, average CPC dependent on how the competitors are working and how their pricing is being given. Okay, so just on a safer side, we give an average price, but moreover, to save the cost of the CPC, we work on the quality score or on the quality of our content and on the ad, which certainly is a very important part. Okay, so coming back to the campaign making, we come here and we give a bid value suppose of 50 because this is what we have seen or other 60 from that particular uh, you know keyword sheet from here 30 40 percent over this particular uh, keyword which is the most important one for me and then I click next once this is done then I just select my Google search network I don't have to select the display network because this will going to put my text ad on the different websites and apps display network are good when we are running the banner ad because we are just running the search ad so we're just going to keep it around the google search result and google sites like google news google maps google shop google uh, youtube so all the text ad wherever the placements can be given so it will going to take directly we don't put on our search partners too because that is again going to lose the visibility search partners are like ask.com aol new york times.com Okay, so again, you know, it is my strategy that I don't want to increase the visibility outside Google. I'm very happy in showing my most of the impressions around Google only. Okay, or either on a Google widgets like these, wherever the text ad has a possibility. Just like you might be wondering, how come I said YouTube? So if I just go here and if I just type again this, so probably you would see text ads on the top. Okay, nowadays there are a lot of text ads been running. So this is a text ad. Okay, this is not a video ad, this is not a banner ad. This is the banner ad, this is the text ad. Okay, so this is coming from here only. Google Sites. Okay, 
then comes your location you can run the ad on different locations by you know sitting anywhere suppose i want to run ad for the worldwide then i'll select all countries and territories if i want to select particular country like india or i want to select multiple countries like suppose united states or i want to select uh, canada or i want to select india too so i can do this way okay then if i want to exclude any of these states probably suppose i want to exclude texas from here so i'll click texas and i'll click exclude i want to exclude probably uh, mumbai so mumbai as a city can be excluded and probably i want to exclude ontario from canada because of xyz reasons just to explain the settings i'm doing this so this is also done okay then we also can use advanced search where a beautiful setting of radius can be worked and the second advantage of advanced search tab is that you are able to see the map so whatever you have selected like we have selected canada and us and whatever you have deselected or excluded will come in red blue part included red part excluded the same way you would see in india as well blue part included and this small dot mumbai excluded okay plus we can do the radius targeting here suppose i sell something within the radius of 1 or 2 kilometers or or 1 or 2 miles so i have to just select that part suppose if i just deselect india right now and deselect the mumbai exclusion as well and consider that i have a restaurant or a cake shop in delhi and probably i will also add this keyword into my keywords so that that matches the term if anybody searches this i have to be seeing the character limits that's why you have to be always checking and changing things accordingly okay then digital marketing google then simply learn till marketing digital marketing on a course probably if we can get that space okay then going down and we can always see where we are lacking right now so we have uh, not very good headlines been added including popular keywords been there description works well so let's see what they give us the idea like so they say we are not given any online availability brand call to actions okay i'll just going to play with some of the terms now so let's just see CTA using the CTA now. You can see the strength has improved. Learn. I don't know. It is actually pausing my recording again and again, and that could be a disturbance for you guys. So I'm just taking some time so that this comes back to normal. Yes. okay so this is how you can add up to headlines 10 headlines and that would improve your ad strength and last not least 
you can add the descriptions which are very relevant to the ad copy okay try to get some headlines or descriptions here from the landing page okay once this is done you can just click done here and your ad copy is prepared you can see here very much and click next and then you can set up your budget so the budget which we were talking earlier in the excel if i have to show you so you got 100 clicks you have paid one rupee for every click so you have given 100 rupees per day so this is your daily budget which you have spent okay so you can always decide your daily budget by setting or customizing it you can put anything though it is showing dollars but this is INR you can see here this is kind of a bug which we are seeing since almost a month now so your average daily cost which they say like a weekly cost rather after 41 multiplying by 33 for every CPC price would come to 1382 but we are giving a daily price so we can always divide this by 7 or you know by 10 probably so I am just giving a rough number 100 okay or 1000 could have been you know 500 also could have been given okay so every day I would spend 500 and accordingly my clicks you know would come and then you click next and your ad goes to review like they would going to be checking your landing page they would be checking your uh, uh, you know uh, what else the ad copy everything can be checked and would take some time I think I just need to change that let me just keep it am so this is simpler and then just click next and publish the campaign from here publish so once this is done then your ad which can be checked from here would go into a review part and it would say under review once this is approved then your ad starts showing and you start seeing the results like impression clicks and CTR have a CPC whatever we have talked about okay so this is all about the ad making now we can see some of the important things there like metrics we have discussed all these we have discussed CPC conversions cost per conversions CTR the only thing which we have not discussed is the quality score so quality score is you know completely um, the part at the back end which works like to improve our ranking so quality score is something which has been given out of 10 and when we see an ad which has already been created like suppose for this campaign if I'll take you so if I just go to the keywords so every keyword being given quality score out of 10 okay so if any of the keyword has got 10 out of 10 it means there are three important elements like their CTR like how many clicks have come their landing page and their ad copy is relevant or not okay they see three elements how relevant the landing page is how relevant is the ad copy is and certainly they see how relevant being the ad copy with the search then only your CTR increases somebody searches something and the ad shows and if the clicks are high then only CTR goes high so that's why the CTR the landing page and the ad relevance has to be above average that's how you know they define they don't give marks here they give total marks out of 10 here the quality score so above average is going to be the highest average going to be the middle one and the below average going to be the lowest one okay so if you have any issues uh, in any of these elements then your overall quality score impacts okay this is all the quality score so high quality score means you end up in paying less and you get a better value for your money okay that's i think the last part of it so google ad ratings of quality of your ads keyword and landing pages i think this is what I've been given here as well then you check i have already shown you you check the keyword each other timing which which were the best timing you have from the ad which were the best locations your ad has actually got the result from and then accordingly your ad can be optimized and can be changed you change your budget you change your bid price you change your location you change your timing 
you change your headline it all depends after your ad actually being shown and then you research or you do the analysis like you know we are seeing which keyword is working better which keyword is having the best of the cost which keyword is giving you the good impression to interaction rate like a ctr then we check the ad copy you know how the ad is working suppose if i have multiple ads to just compare if this ad works better or this ad works better or this ad works better so i would just going to be comparing these three ads which one has given me the better of the clicks as compared to the other one which has given me the better ctr or who cpc was lesser who cpc was higher that is how i will be checking it okay i can always have number of ads created under the campaign just like abhi right now we have created one campaign one ad we can always test with the another ad copy by clicking this so that we can see which ads performs better okay that's why in this existing account you can see multiple ads so because we were testing which one works better so this is how you can also make one other ad copy and you can just click done and that would be added to the list of ads okay you can see now one more ad actually been added so out of these two which one works better would be only uh, diagnosed or checked if the ad starts running okay you can always add your account the you know money the 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 billing part into the student settings building summary and from here you just need to add your mode of payment okay you have to select your country you have to select the currency you know you are paying in and then of course you would have options to pay like debit money transfer net banking and india paytm wallet is also available very much available okay so this is how guys so all this google ads search campaign works like i hope you have liked the session i have tried to keep it very simple i have tried to also somewhere show you some of the results from the existing campaigns and uh, hopefully you would able to create your account for free very soon and if you would have anything to discuss if you have anything to ask you can write in the comment section and if you have not subscribed our channel please subscribe we keep coming with a lot of uh, content on digital marketing social media marketing paid ads and a lot of other topics as well and uh, uh, have a great day ahead uh, you can also connect me on a linkedin uh, with the name of sachin sagal simply learn you can find me and yeah we can always be connected professionally there for any help thank you so much for your time i hope you have liked the session god bless take care of yourself and your families bye bye Hi there. If you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.